Classic hell horn decks out stitching. The hard talents. The hard arcus. The easy self. Starting cards. Not great. G station sucks, kind of. Horn break is good. Great steering. Yeah, I don't really get that card. I take it every now and then, but it's. It's okay, I guess. Well, I don't really ever see the reason to go wrathful without spikes. I would have liked the slave version. How much rage? I'm gonna get two rage from revenge. I'll go this route. Next cost, it helped my guess these next costs. It's probably better than a river. Even though I don't have this in there. It would make my events like immediately able to be played without upgrades. Uh, and I don't know, yeah, I just don't think the armor one's very good. It's just 15 armor. Compare that to the 40 health. Kind of see the difference there. Uh, armor is rough for Hellhorn Classic, isn't it? Like, pretty much nullifies all the torches. I do have two horn breaks. These guys aren't going to hurt. Let's do it. So, game plan. I'll probably just try to do, like, an in-camp build. I don't know. I might not. Depending on if I... Like, if I don't get offered the Slay version on that first upgrade coming up, after the first boss, um, I probably just won't use one breaker points, I guess. Just lean into like stitching units. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I guess we'll put him up here. Don't really need to be that extra pit space or anything like that. Thank you. 
Not for killing bosses, though. Fortifying. Probably not. It would be good for incanting, I guess. I do. I could just like plan on getting in camp, but I don't know. I might not get in camp because the chill battle is not good for in camp. But the game just kind of is an okay unit, so. But it doesn't really help with this, maybe. Because 5 does not take out Purifier. I guess I'll do a ritual of battle. Though, it would be at 3 cost, because I do I might have to go to the Smirch and the Steel. And I'll just do it. And probably Flash Freeze here, or Crit Builder. I don't know, they're all kind of equal. With the 4 gun powers, Crit Builder can be pretty good. Little flash freeze would help with some boss killing and backline killing. I think flash freeze are his best. Oh, here we go. Probably Siren of the Sea. It's either that or Guardian. So we don't need to do the Hell Arms right now. We can actually go here and get the Ritual Battle cheaper, which makes it infinitely better. Hold over. Sucks to miss on that. I could just do this. I'm gonna do it. It's so strong in the early game. Late game, I'm gonna be fine. So, let's just do this. Uh, now, I could make this cheap, but for now, I'll make Ritual Battle playable. Um, and then just later, maybe I'll take the energy off that thing. Spikes. I think I can take this. I did put holdover on a pretty strong early game card, and my unit can, can get pretty beefy. Let's do it like this. I think. Uh, let's do it like this. I'll prepare for the boss in the best fashion. I didn't want that to happen. Whatever. Well, that's happening. That's But I just wanted to maximize it in Kent's kill the units and stuff like that. I don't know if I need multi men. Maybe he's over here. I'll take it early. Damn, these are all pretty good. First world problems, I suppose. It probably is just next spell damage. Titan's gratitude. Probably hit the stage and banner up, so yeah.
So we'll, we'll know now what our assignment C is going to be, either frontliner or backliner. Why not both? We'll make one of them a frontliner and one of them a back, backliner. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Fuck, that's such a good relic. Perfect. One of the best cabinet events you can get. Wow. Another one of these. I don't really need it. on one of the floors. I don't really care about the champ at this point. Put the champs on this floor, I guess, just so I can get a turn of incans. I'll probably do it here. Because his tower of spirit is necessary. So we can't win a 50 50 one of these days. as much as I hate Seraph the Patient, they're kind of on par for me. Deep Offerings probably have been here, but that was extra energy. I'm not a huge fan of the other two cards in a general sense. Guard of the Unnamed would be the ideal tank. But this version of Seraph doesn't have enough damage coming in that I care too much about having the ideal tank. Siren OC. It's just fine. And definitely card draw. I could do Pip to try to fit my other guy on, but I don't really care about that too much. 
well, this is an interesting one. Both of them have throwaways. I mean, I'm not taking another stitch banner, and I'm not taking a Hellboard banner. So it's like, do I want artifacts of gold or do I want Hell banner of gold? And I'm not even looking at my deck, but I can just try to tell you that I want the Hell banner of gold because Rogue really, is just a much better than that. So let's get rid of these stewards. The torches are at least in hand, so I'm not hating the torches. I can't play them. As far as hell that goes, I mean, I don't have to do it. something cheap. Or I can help with this. I can also help with that. Help. Alright. Is that a weird one? Now let's do, let's do the default right And what are we going to get to? I'm going to do the slay. I can always go pip as my other upgrade and I could fit everyone on one floor if I need to. Spikes. And this boss I don't think we care too much about. Both these clans have the best artifacts, so maybe I should have went the other route. But uh, whatever. Let's give ourselves the maximum attack to get our stats fixed here. And let's go ahead and okay, one out of three. This goes bad. Nice. Let's get this. It's the same amount of health, so whatever. Who do I want in front of the lower health, lower damage guy? Spine's probably best. That's just a really good 
card. The other two are subpar usually. I think it's about time we had a merchant of steel up. We need to get some dice straight. I mean, everything over here is pretty good. Everything over there is pretty good too. But I don't have great health on targets as we've established. Quick is not what I wanted to see. Put this on one of them. Alright, so multi strike goes on you, and then armor in king goes on you, and we'll hold out for either a battle stone or a health upgrade to tap that off. Assuming we can take. Yeah, I guess we'll hit hopefully another steel up at some point. At any rate, I don't care about the 10 damage on my frontliner. Uh, let's see. Music we want um, something that won't get me struck. Alright. Oh no no, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Do I have any removals? No. Five bucks short. Spell shield. Thankfully. Hornbreak goes right through that shit. I don't think I'm like that reliant on spell damage. The Frostbite also doesn't really care about it. I think I can take it. Tough boss. Overcha overcharged tanks are tough, but eh, I'll set up the time. Just do things. This is a nice little multi <laughs> Pretty nice if you ask me. Do that just to keep the holdover going. And since this isn't really gonna hit anything, I'll just encant it. Like, most likely not doing anything. I think I'd rather just get some encants here. But, I will do that. Obviously, get a few of them scouting, but we don't. And then Flame is just a horrible card. I could take him uh, in for now. Probably gonna be friends with Swarm here, I guess. Am I hitting the snatcher magic or am I going here? 
don't really have huge targets for the Merchant of Magic. Titan's Gratitude would be good. It's literally about it. Torches. Deep offering, like, cost reduction would be okay. I don't think I need Ice Storm. I think Frenzied Swarm. So... Double incant artifact would be bustedly good. What else would be good? Spell weakness. Any hellhorn ones? Rage, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm liking everything that I just listed off. Unit cost? Probably don't need that with this. Cuddlebeard's probably pretty good. Yeah, Frostbite on the lower. Mimsicle's pretty good in a general sense. Um, this would help us scaling a bit. Maybe... I don't know. It's not like that much. I think I'd rather get some higher impact stuff. Either one of these is going to be... See, the thing that you got to realize about Resonance Shard is... If you read this text... You'll understand that it actually helps the enemy too. I've been bitten by that one. Not that, you know, there's no rage with this Seraph, but there could be enemies in the rage. Try to pick which ones from here on out get rage. Just the sweeper, I think. Which well, he's not going to be killing anything. So this could be probably better than this. I don't know. This only saves us. Like this gives, like literally, like 100, or it increases the damage by like 50% of your rage. So I'll probably take this. The non decay is not as impactful. So the incant would screw us up here, but. So, we'll probably go up here to the incant. That's fine. Let us turn as it goes. You can just go there. And we got Cuddlebeard, so why not do this? Here, that's one <laughs> gotcha. We need to go double siren. So let me think. I can probably afford to do that. that. This. Sure. You know, in an ideal world, it's probably like efficient to just not play with this ventral shard. It's only one HP to your fire or whatever. But I mean, really, that's not that's nothing but us. Satisfying. Satisfying. Yeah. That's English on my part. I guess this guy's just going to be too damage to whatever. Maybe I can not have that happen. I have totally did 
gonna have to take that damage. Amazing how Gifts of the Guard I just never really use anymore. And for such a good card, I just never use it. Could I use it? Really? I just don't want it. I don't want my. I mean, I'm already, I'm already facing Consuming Seraph anyhow. And what do I do? Do I really even need my Hellhorn Prince? I'm pretty sure just an extra card draw is all I really want. So if I do this, there's still a one third chance that I can't actually make use of it, whereas the draw I'm always going to make use of. Might as well just do the draw. Uh, I could use some extra health, I guess, on uh, both my fire and my front one. Should I just go for this here? I'd rather have 25 health or another armor in camp. Oh, I'll just do that. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm getting so much freaking health in that, that girl. So I'm And I guess some torches. Uh, does yeah, I think that's fine. We do need to keep a few spells around for diligent, but it's fine. Uh, slay extra or extra armor and multi strike. Doesn't matter. He's a sacrifice at this point in the game. Late game, he's just gonna die immediately. We never got hit in ascension or anything. If I got that, I could make them work, but whatever. I probably should have thought about that a little more. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass, giving them all that extra damage. Alright, frontliner in front. Let's remember to do that. This will at least be fine here. And we can put you here, I suppose. Do this. That. Technically I gain more light than this. Weird play, I know. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna die. This. Scaling his eyes. Now it's time to just go in on this ship. I think we're fine. Only thing we gotta keep in mind is our frontliner could take a lot of damage. Let's see if we can like mitigate some of this. I guess I don't actually want it. Um, I actually don't want it, I guess. It's not really helping with the thing I need right now. I got good on damage and what I need is health. So that's kind of a deal there. So we're going to be using Fenton Swarm here. We just want to do this down here then, I think. Thank you. 
realized I have like a ton of skill power. <laughs> I'm probably not doing smart things there. Oh well. Looks like I got away with it. I almost clicked the freaking front of there. That would have been the ultimate dumb play. That would have ended the run. <laughs> Some climb is an option for me. I'll take it. Another friend in Swarm can hurt. None of those cards really can hurt. That Frenzied Swarm is just so good. Yeah, I'm probably going this route, right? Let's take a look over here. Nope, nope. Probably not. This I'll take. Let's see what's in this shop. Another whole lever. Ah. Hold a reference and swarm, I guess. Don't know if I like that. There you go, two cards and hold over. That I feel for sure. Make this cost less. Yeah, I think I'm probably not getting those other artifacts. I'm just get these, get all the stuff to like cost less as we have. And I don't think I'm doing that, especially with the artifact that is Probably this kill the purifiers in the back. Probably something boring like horn break, honestly. Give me spell damage actually, front loaded spell damage. I'll do a Titan Scrap. Uh, I wish I put the extra damage on it. Another torch, I guess. Alright, time to win. Guess you're gonna be consumed, but it's fine. Backliner, put you here. If I can somehow get pull off, like in him, uh... so if I can somehow pull off the tireless climb on him, that would be nice. But I don't know I can do that. Put the frontliner in the correct location, and this is a great place. Um, why don't we just do it here because that would be some chance and stuff. Let's do that. Do this, kill the purifier. Just keep the enhancements and frostbite on. This seems good. Got one more turn here, probably to get tireless climb. Didn't get it, whatever. Um, it's still good with the buff. I'll do this once. Okay. Well, my hand was forced. Looks like we wouldn't have got time to climb anyways. That's right. I guess the gear consumed. Yeah, let's do this. I feel like 
pretty little one three is uh things. How are we doing that? How are we doing that? How are we doing this? This is the only thing that's happening there. Because it's um, a little tired of these fuckers. I'm gonna need to kill them. Let's do this. Mm. This, this is probably better. We're gonna take some power damage here. <clears throat> I forgot I had this thing going. I could probably have been a little more aggressive with some of my plays if I had been paying attention to that. Oh well. That's a double kill. He's gonna win. What a foolish idiot. What a fool. Not bad. Pretty much did mostly stitching things there as a. But I don't know. The, I mean, the rage was how I scaled more so than the encant, kind of. I don't know. They're about equal, I'd say. It was a weird, weird run. I don't usually put ritual of battle on holdover or even flash freeze, but it you know, just goes to show how much better holdover is. You can put it on stuff that it doesn't make sense on, it will still carry you. 